and we moved to track and field. A guy who was All-American, who was in the 440 and the 440 relay and other among multiple events, and he was fantastic, and he is our second inductee today in the 2015 class of the Aztec Hall of Fame, Larry Gottfried. Larry Godfrey had speed that was hard to duplicate and few who competed against him could. The 440 was his specialty and he thrived in that category. Larry was the NCAA champion in the 440 intermediate hurdles in 1965 with a time of 51.5 seconds. NCAA college division champion in 65 in the 440 IH at 51.6 seconds. 440 relay, 43.1, and the mile relay, 3 minutes, 16.6 seconds. Godfrey won the NCAA College Division Championship in the 440 IH in 66 as well, with a time of 52.1. His numbers and consistency earned him All-American honors in the 440 IH in 1965. Larry Godfrey, a member of the 2015 Aztec Hall of Fame. An NCAA champion, and he will be introduced to you by a longtime friend and a former teammate from those years, Ray Riker. One half a century ago, <laughs> in 1965, in the world's most powerful track country, Larry Godfrey won the National Collegiate Athletics Association National Championship. Now, most of you are too young to have a clue about track and field in 1965 in San Diego. Let me help you. 1965 for track and field in San Diego was like 1939 for the movie industry, if you follow. Were you to be fortunate enough to have been down to Balboa Stadium in 1965, you would have seen a high school senior named Jim Ryan run down an Olympic gold medalist, Peter Snell. You would have seen a six mile American scratch that world's record in which Billy Mills and Jerry Lindgren were never farther than a razor blade apart. Back here on campus, we had a track team that was the National Small College Championship. And we were led by chalk sportsmen and the steady hand of Dick Wells. And that crew of guys are just kind of staggering to think about. We would stop in workouts and watch Rick Herman crank out 660s coming by the 440 in 47.9. We had Don Shy running 36 in the highs. We had Houston Bojack Ridge almost throwing 61 feet in the shot. It was like terrifying, these guys were so good. But there was only one national champion, individual national champion, Larry Godfrey. I got a little note not long before I was preparing this, actually in the midst of it, and it said three to five minutes. I said, you're dreaming. <clears throat> the ancient Greeks, when an athlete won a competition, 
they would give him a wreath of fresh laurel leaves. It's a nice green crown, flexible, beautiful. <clears throat> and he would take it home. And of course, that wreath would turn brown, become brittle. Now, if he wasn't watching where he was sitting sometime in the future and sat down on it, of course, he would crush it to powder. And so now you know the phrase, where it comes from. You don't rest on your laurels. <laughs> and Larry, that's not a joke, it's true. And Larry Godfrey didn't. When he left San Diego State, he became, um, I've got to double check some things here. Uh, head cross country coach at Monta Vista High School. During his tenure there, his teams won two county championships and placed second five times. I'm sort of happy that that little clip was kind of crappy in the sense that it doesn't really, it didn't give you a sense of what this guy was as a runner. Today, you know, everybody's got a camera and you can Google anybody doing anything. And it's a pity we don't have some better images, but I'm gonna tell you about this guy's style, what I call the Godfrey style. What you have to do to get a sense of how Larry Godfrey ran was check out a National Geographic special on the African hunting dog. <laughs> like the African hunting dog, when Larry, when the gun went off, he was driven and he was relentless. And his strides would eat up track and munch on hurdles like you and I would eat M&Ms. It was unbelievable. Um, Larry handled his rare defeats with quiet resignation and his frequent victories with gracious dignity. And so it gives me really great pleasure to present our African hunting dog. <laughs> I'm honored to be inducted to the Hall of Fame. I never really considered this, that I would ever get this award. I had some incredible teammates that I ran with over the years. I'll tell you how old I am. Dennis Wise was going to San Diego State when I was there. <clears throat> and that's really old. I started in 1962, and I had a scholarship for $100 a semester, and it paid books and tuition. We had about 8,000 students, and I don't know how big we are now, but we ran track right here. A friend of mine's here today that swam in a pool right here. He became a, a, a friend of mine in high school, coached uh, swimming and water polo, and uh, coached Tim Lindley's son that played quarterback here, uh, Ryan Lindley. Uh, another friend of mine was an idol of mine, Mario Mendez. He's here. He's on the San Diego State Hall of Fame. I coached with him at Monta Vista High School. Uh, I had some incredible memories here, but the most fun was running with my teammates. Uh, you saw a picture of our mile relay team. I've got two of my friends in the back here, Rick Herman, Bruce Hafer. I was only the third fastest guy on that team, mile relay team. So we had some incredible athletes. And part of that was brought by Don Coriel. He'd only been here like a year when I got here. And he had such, he brought in some incredible athletes. Houston Ridge, Don Shy, a guy named uh, Bob Jones, a wide receiver. He was a sprinter on our team. Houston Ridge did all the weights. Don Shy did the high hurdles. Uh, our our uh, cross country team were national champions. We, we covered everything. And running with teammates like that really made me better. I mean, I'd watch, the name's been mentioned before, Rick Herman, I could never keep up with the guy in a workout. The guy was an animal. 
1966, he was the second, he was second place in the national meet in Indiana in 800 meters. So running with all of these great athletes really helped me to achieve my potential. And that's what I remember the most. And in fact, my presenter tonight, Ray Reichert, was one of our good pole vaulters on that team. So uh, I know it was a long time ago, and some of my friends are no longer here, <laughs> but uh, I feel honored to be recognized, but it was really a team thing that helped me to achieve my potential. So thank you. Congratulations, Larry Godfrey. Great Aztec athlete. Great Aztec athlete.